Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Proverbs 22.6 We would like to lift up all students, faculty, and staff who are in the school setting to have a blessed, productive, and spirit-filled school year. Welcome to Philadelphia Christian Church, and we thank you for choosing Philadelphia to worship. We would like to welcome all first-time visitors. Make yourself at home. And for those who are from out of state, please visit our welcome center in the foyer for a token of love to you. For our online family tuning in, we pray the presence of God would be in your home or wherever you are. This week here at Philadelphia is Family Week. The purpose of Family Week is to give you the opportunity to spend some quality time with your family. Ministry is important, but the family is your first ministry. We will still have Monday through Friday noonday prayer. You can stop in during your lunch break. Tuesday Bible study will be at 7 p.m. Join us. And if you missed last Bible study, download the Philly app right from your app store. It's available on Android or Apple devices. Just search for PCC Lafayette. Thursday School of Prayer will be postponed due to Family Week. The Fire Ministry will meet at 7 p.m. on Thursday night. This is the Free Indeed Recovery Experience. The Bible says there is none righteous, no, not one. So all of us is going through something. Well, the Fire Ministry is a great place to hear testimony of those coming out of the storm. All of us are either at three stages, in a storm, coming out of a storm, or we'll be going into a storm. The Fire Ministry, Thursday nights at 7 p.m. Come and check it out. The Hebrew Softball League are continuing with games scheduled now on Sundays from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. and Mondays from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. all held at Arsenal Park behind Celebrity Theater in Broussard. So get ready to join us on the diamond or in the stands. Please join the single ladies on Friday, August 23rd at 7 p.m. for a paint party. Come fellowship with other singles and uncover your talent for art. A fee is required for supplies. See Alicia Haywood or Marilyn Malvo for more details after service. Let's take a moment and check out our next Philly testimony. Philly, I told you, we're hitting y'all all morning. I'm just here standing next to Deacon Cardell. Deacon Cardell, I have the question of the day for you. And the question of the day is, who first invited you to Philadelphia? Uh, I, was, I was invited to Philadelphia by my wife, actually. Uh, she actually came first to uh, Philadelphia and uh, she would speak so highly about it. And I, uh, she asked me to come. At first I didn't. And then uh, one morning I decided to come and, and uh, it was the best thing that happened to me. I came and received Christ and uh, got saved, man, and the rest is history. I got you. So tell me about the first experience at Philadelphia for you. Well, the first experience for me was uh, it was it was uh, it was it was it was kind of like like wow to me, you know. Uh, I came in, heard the word, and uh, I got saved instantly. Man, the Lord really moved, the Holy Spirit, and uh, I was never the same. And after I left Philadelphia that day, I went home, and I was kind of in a place where I didn't understand what was what was happening, you know. And you know, I was like just sitting down at the, at the house, and I was like, man, what's going on? I didn't understand, but uh, the Lord had got a hold to me. That's the reason, that's the reason. Hey. That's the reason. Hey, B, come see, we gotta run that back. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, Your well, first experience. my first experience, I, I was, and when I was at home, man, I didn't understand what was going on, but, the Holy Spirit that got a hold of me, and the rest was history, man. I was I was all in the uh, the things I I desired coming into Philadelphia. When I left Philadelphia, I had the desires was gone. So uh, it, it's it's all good, man. And here I am today. Thank you, Lord, for that. See, a deacon came to Philly one time and became a deacon. Philly. <laughs> right now, it's time for the good news of the week. Let's give a happy 18th birthday shout out to Ronald R.J. Charlo. Happy birthday. And let's give another happy birthday to Brelani Durrell, who turned 15 years old on August 14th. 
Happy birthday, love mom and dad. The Glaude family would like to wish their son, Tylen Brown, a very happy 18th birthday. Congratulations. Let's give a happy birthday to Jonathan Knight, turning 47 years old on today. Happy birthday. Let's give a happy anniversary to Jonathan and Shalanda Thorne, who celebrated 17 years of marriage on Saturday, August 17th. Happy anniversary. Also, happy 21st anniversary to Clincy and Tara Glover. What the Lord has put together, let no man asunder. Marriage takes three to be complete. It is not enough for two to meet. They must be united in love by love's creator. God above, a marriage that follows God's plan takes more than Tara and Clincy. It needs a oneness that can be only from Christ. Marriage takes three. Happy anniversary, Glovers. May God bless this union with many more. For your good news to be featured on the Good News of the Week, please email to phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com. That's phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com. We must receive it by 3 p.m. on Thursdays to be featured on Sundays and Tuesdays announcements. Well, Philly family, those were your announcements. Stand to your feet. It's worship time. <laughs> 